Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. My name is Ahmad Wasal Karani bin Ahmad Fahmi. And my message number is 212295. Firstly, I would like to thank Dr. Zamir for his guidance to complete our assignment and also my classmates which are Kushaini and Alisa Nasuha. So for our assignment, we choose motion of motor board. In the motion of motor board, a lot of physics application we can find. Example like velocity, Newton's second law of motion, and more. So for our assignment too, we use integration as application to find velocity and position given a value of acceleration. Uh, example, we can take the indefinite, indefinite integral at both sides of time very derivative at the velocity function to found the velocity function. So after this, my classmate will explain in detail how to find the motion of motorboat, the position and the velocity by using integral. So that's all from me. Hi everyone, my name is Alisa Nasuha binti Muhammad Hamidi. My matrix number is 212223. Our first question is to find the velocity function of the motorboat. So in order to find the velocity function of the motorboat, first we must integrate the function of acceleration and using initial condition to find the constant of integration. Firstly, to make it more easier, we can do the equation first, which is Vt equals to integration of at dt plus c1. And then we can plug in the value of at into the equation, which is as stated in the equation above, which is at equals to negative 1 over a t meter per second. And then after we integrate negative 1 over t, we get the equation which is vt equals to negative 1 over 16 t to the power of 2 dt plus c1. Next step is to find c1. So in order to find c1, we must set t equals to 0 and then we get v0 equals to 9 meter per second. After that, we got that vt equals to 0 plus c1 equals to 9 meter per second. And then after we do the math, we got that C1 is equals to 9 meter per second. And then we can plug in the value of C1 which is 9 meter per second in the previous equation. And finally, we got the function of velocity which is Vt equals to 9 minus 1 over 16 t to the power of 2. Okay, now we will move on to question number 2 which is question as to calculate the time when velocity reaches 0. First of all, we must set the velocity functional equals to zero and then we can solve for t. In order to do that, we have to make two equations, which is first is vt equals to zero and the second equation is vt equals to 9 meter per second minus t to the power of 2 over 60. And then we must combine equation number one equals to equation number two, which is 9 meter per second minus t to the power of 2 over 16 equals to 0. And then we can move uh, negative t to the power of 2 over 16 to the right side of the equation. And the final equation will be 9 meter per second equals to t to the power of 2 over 16. And then we can solve the t by 16 times 9, which is equals to 144. And we can get the equation which is t to the power of 2 equals to 144 thus the time taken for the velocity which is 0 is 12 seconds Thanks Alisa for the information. My name is Muhammad Hushani bin Kamal Zaman and my metric number is 213141. Here is another part where we use the concept of integration. We move on to the third process of finding the information of the graph which is to find the position function by using integration and find the constant integration using the initial condition. This is the formula to find the position equation then substituting the velocity function that Alisa have mentioned before into the formula and we integrate it and got the position function. In physics sense, we integrate the velocity function to get the position function. We then we set t equal to 0 as we only focus in the displacement when the boat begins to decelerate and we got the constant integration to zero and the position function to be used in the next process. 
Now, we need to find the displacement of the motorboat from the time when the motorboat begins to decelerate until the velocity comes to zero by substituting the value of time into the equation, which is 12 seconds. The deceleration occurs, and we get exactly the displacement at 72 meters. And finally, we use the functions to make both graph of velocity versus time and position versus time since graphical illustration is one of the best way to look the behavior and nature of some solution. The, the maximum displacement was located 72 meter with the duration of 20 seconds from the beginning with 9 meter per second. That's all. Thank you.